Hey everyone, welcome to Health Talk, hosted by Treasure Uncovered. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. We want to welcome you to our second Health Talk ever. I know it's a little late, and we're sorry, but it's still here. Today, we're going to be talking about food. Food. I love food, especially all the recipes in Recipe Rubies on our website. Well, they're also yummy, and you should check them out. Yes, you should. That's right, Jack. But today, we're not talking about recipes. We're actually talking about how much of what food per day we should eat. That's right, Alice. Things like fruits and vegetables. There are lots of stuff we should eat per day. Yep. Let's start with fruits and vegetables because you brought that up. There are lots of delicious colors and tastes. My favorite fruit is raspberries. It's above and beyond good. Like, so good. <laughs> and my favorite vegetables are olives and avocado, probably. I love olives and avocados. Yeah, my favorite um, fruits are probably pineapple, mandarin oranges, and peaches. And my favorite vegetables are um, Swiss chard and okra. Yeah. Well, anyway, we should have about three and a half cups of vegetables every day and two and a half cups of fruit every day. Or six cups put together. Sometimes I just like to say that we should have six cups of vegetables and fruit every day. Or about one and a half liters. If you want to be exact, you can say 1.44 liters. Yes, fruits and vegetables are very important, but grains are also very important. You should have 6 to 10 ounces of grains every day. By the way, for those who don't know what the system we're using, we're using the Imperial system. But if you know the metric system and you don't know the system we are using, you can use Google to translate it or to change it. Yes, please do. Grains are very important, especially whole grains. Most of the grains you eat should probably be whole grains. You at least need an ounce of it per day. You also need six to 10 ounces of grains per day. You should probably not have too much enriched grain or yeah, they're not refined grains good. because they're not very good. Um, they cut out the nutrients and that is like, that's the best spot. That's the, the healthy part. Yes. And you should probably have some grains for breakfast, like oatmeal. Oatmeal is a very good example. Also, granola is a very good example, too. Um, you can also have popcorn, quinoa, um, pasta, and a lot of different other things. Anyway, grain is just really good for you. Yes, whole grains are very important. But you also need also need protein which is the number three on our list so protein is really important you need lots of protein every cell in your body from your tippy top of your head to your very little toes they all need protein especially children that are young and teens and pregnant women they all they need protein most of all because they're we're growing you know we're kids we're growing and pregnant women are growing babies, so that's why we need lots of protein. You need five to seven ounces of protein every day. But how do we get protein, Alice? Like, what? Foods yeah. Thanks have for protein? reminding me. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot. So lots of different foods have protein. They include, just for some examples, beans, tofu, edamame quinoa, almonds, peanuts, and soy milk. Those all have lots and lots of protein. I don't know if you know what tempeh is, but it's really good and it's kind of similar to tofu. When I went to Timor last day, that was on the menu. It was really good, but I have no idea how to make it or prepare it, so I don't think I will be able to right here in the US, but it was really good. So if you have tempeh, definitely that has a lot of protein. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so if you don't eat lots of protein, you'll get really tired and experience fatigue. Well, I certainly don't want to be tired all the time. Now, remember you also need other stuff. You also need fat, but not too much, and carbs and other different things like fiber. But this is a good base. 
Anyway, Alice, I thought of a great idea. Let's give them an, ex- of an example of a healthy meal. That's For instance, a great idea. breakfast. Yeah! Let's give everyone watching some ideas for a healthy breakfast. Yes, what a great idea. So for example, you can have oatmeal for breakfast along with a lot of fruits, maybe raspberries and pineapple and strawberries and blueberries and oh my, I'm gonna go make you eat too many. Wow, that's a great idea. Or, Alice, you can have a breakfast of, mm, Pancakes with peanut butter and syrup on top, or pancakes with peanut butter and applesauce on top, orange juice, some great um some fruits like grapefruit, and some cereal and milk, and maybe some grape juice with that too. Okay, well, so first of all, the orange juice and grape juice is great, but two <laughs> juices for breakfast is not healthy. So only a little bit, like that much. Okay, maybe. But anyway, and also not too much syrup, Jack. Yes. You tend to overdose on the syrup, buddy. Well, you tend to overdose on syrup, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a secret. We yeah, overdose. That's a secret. Yeah, we overdose on syrup. So we need to work on that. Well, anyway, everyone, that's it for today. But we have lots more on our website. Um, please make sure to check out the eight doctors. And also, if you ever click a picture of something in nature, please remember to send it to contact.treasureuncovered at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and like. Yes. Oh, and most importantly, don't forget to check out all the amazing, healthy recipes and awesome recipes on our website. And you can find all of those right here on Recipe Rubies. At Recipe Rubies at treasure uncovered treasure uncovered.com treasure uncovered.com yes and as always thanks for watching bye, bye.